Hi, it's Dr. Shirley with Level Up. Today I'm going to talk about how using heart math is a great tool for us to learn how to manage our stress. Stress is a killer and it underpins a lot of the physical and mental issues that my patients come in with. So heart math uses heart rate variability in order to measure coherence. So coherence is the optimal state of mind-body balance. It improves our ability to self-regulate. And we want to do that because we want to build resilience. Resilience is the successful adaptation in the face of stress. We all know that when we are stressed and we are thinking and worrying about something that will increase our heart rate and our blood pressure, but did you know that it works the other way around? The mind-body connection is also the heart-brain connection. When we change the heart rate variability, then it also syncs with our brain so that we get better coherence in our brain waves as well. And we do know that because when we put electrodes on people's heads, we can see that um, the pattern of your heart will affect the pattern of your brain. This is one great way to improve your ability to sleep deeply and restoratively at night. It improves your ability to concentrate and focus at work or at school. It helps with depression and anxiety. It helps with a lot of things because when your nervous system is in a high stress sympathetic state, you're in fight or flight mode, which means your heart rate is elevated, you're not breathing deeply, and your blood pressure is high. And common complaints I get from patients are fatigue, poor sleep, and inability to focus at work. Um, what we want to do is switch the pattern of our heart rate to one that is conducive to a restorative parasympathetic state. This is calming, this is anti-inflammatory. This helps with inflammatory conditions that deal with um, autoimmune states um, and also conditions such as obesity and high cholesterol as well. So the great thing about heart math is it's a very, very easy to use tool. So here it is, this is on Teresa. Teresa is one of our heart math um, certified trainers. Um, it's super easy, it's Bluetooth, it's connected to your iPhone or your iPad, and it clicks to your earlobe right here, and it doesn't hurt. Um, we are able to see within minutes what percentage of time we are at a high coherent state. So at baseline, Teresa is at 55%. So what we're going to do is going to, she's going to listen to music. She's going to breathe more deeply and more slowly, just a touch than usual. And she's going to imagine a memory where she was very happy and peaceful. And she's just going to think about that for one minute. And you'll see very shortly how quickly this changes. All right, I'll let you know when to start. All right, that was one minute. So here is her data. It's important to have something objective. So she went up to 100% coherence. And this is the pattern that she went in. It went up and down, which is very good in a very predictable way. 
So in that one minute, she was able to switch her nervous system and improve her heart rate variability by double from 55% to 100%. Um, this has been so helpful with my patients that I have started including this measurement as a vital sign and I include it in the exam portion of every visit now. Um, and I recommend that patients do this two to three times a day in order to help establish a new baseline. Um, this is something that I am looking forward to teaching everyone. Um, Teresa and I are looking forward to training you on how to use this amazing tool.